Okay, I want to quickly cover custom visuals here because I get this question a lot. Um, I will say though, before before I show you how you would find it or find them, is that I personally do not use custom visuals that much. Okay, um, the reason being is for it's for a couple of reasons. First, I always find that custom visuals have or have found in the past that custom visuals are not as reliable as sort of the inbuilt features in Power BI. So, you know, they don't transfer very well to iPads or iPhones, etc. They also don't always have enable you to um, have custom colors or the color palette you want. Um, so it's just small things like that. They're not as robust because they're not as, you know, they're, they're outsourced, they're not Microsoft built, you know, and then updates can happen to Power BI and they need to be updated as well and there's a delay. So there's, there's a few things like that that sort of have prevented me from really exploring custom visuals that much. But, you know, some people do like them. So, you know, I'll show you how, at least how you can you can find them and import them into your model. So basically what you want to do is you want to um, go to, if you don't have any downloaded at all, you want to go to App Source. Um, in the Insert ribbon, you go More Visuals and then app, um, go find App Source. And so you'll be directed to App Source, or this pop-up actually comes up. And so... Um, uh, this, is, this is pretty cool. This is relatively new. Um, now, and what you can do is you can import a whole range of different ones. You can have a look through. There's a whole range of different ones. There's just so much um, variety now. Um, some are um, really stupid, like this aquarium one. It's always a bit of a, a, a one to throw up as a joke, but it's it's honestly horrible. Um, but, you know, there's, there's heaps. There's, there's whatever you potentially would want to have a look at there's an option some of these though are actually paid so you would have to pay to use them some aren't um, and that's pretty cool as well now once you download them you don't have to um, ever do it again they sort of can sit on your file unless there's some sort of update or something like that um, and then once you do it so let's just let's just do this one I'm gonna I'm gonna add it um, and it's actually as easy as that if you use this method, right? If you use this method, it's basically, you know, it's it's brought the visual into my um, visualization pane just like that. And then we can use it just like any visual. If you have it downloaded on your machine, you can import it as a file because this can actually be downloaded as a file on your machine. Um, so that's how, look, that's how you do it. I don't want to go too deep into it because I honestly do not use them that much. Like if you... If you use, um, but I don't want to dissuade you from doing it yourself, or looking into it. I just want to show you that, you know, you can extend the visualization possibilities of what's in Power BI. There is some really cool custom visuals, like I've seen some around sort of financial reporting specifically, you know, and some fancy donut charts and um, uh, and also machine learning sort of like AI site charts and stuff. So, you know, I'm not saying that they're all terrible. I'm just saying that, you know, from a, visualization perspective you can get pretty much everything you could ever want in my view um, pretty displayed pretty effectively if you just utilize the visualization visualization palette effectively you know if you if you have a look at our showcase here um, this is on the enterprise DNA website you know you can use any of these showcases by utilizing the, the live demo you know looking down here there is literally not one um, custom visual baked into any of our showcases i think i think actually that's wrong there is one i think in our inventory one uh, one historically that we created we created one here where you could create a custom map and um, create a visualization visualization out of it so that was pretty cool but you know in terms of making other things you'll see here i've got sort of a way that i do things or we we do things at enterprise dna and you know and none of it you can make things look very compelling and um very consumer friendly without uh you know, using custom visuals. Okay, so look, that's about all um, All I want to say there, and I want to leave it up to you to just explore explore those more, but hopefully I've made, a, made you aware of them um, if you weren't before. Okay, let's move on.